Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Pino Trogu again from San Francisco State University. And this is the information design uh, class data visualization. Um, so we're gonna do the second part of the first project in the spring to 2021 uh, semester. And in the first part, we gathered data sets from uh, breast cancer data. And in this second part, um, which would be 1.2, uh, we're just gonna output some line bar and scatter plots, um, just plain uh, raw out of the programs. We're not gonna format them in any way, uh, graphically or, or color wise. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you what we're gonna do. Uh, based on the um, based on this uh, data sets that we downloaded and that you prepared, um, so the first um, let's see the first one is going to be a single line graph. Okay, I should say we're going to do three pages, eleven by seventeen, divided into uh, four quadrants, and. Um, and in total, there'll be nine possible graphs. However, I'm actually letting you uh, do at least one from each uh, set. And um, you have to do at least one program um, total, uh, meaning uh, three different programs. So we're gonna use R, we're gonna use um, Excel, and we're gonna use Tableau. So you have to use uh, all of them, right? So it doesn't matter to me which one you pick for what. I mean, I have some preferences, but um, as long as you use, and of course, if you do all nine or six or seven, um, you'll have more options to do more with the same program, okay? Um, so the first one is gonna be, um, and uh, I will have a, um, um, I'll have a handout with like links to um, videos that have, you know, how these are done. I might have some new stuff too, I'm not sure. Um, and we'll spell out, you know, what, what needs to be done. Um, so this just gives you the, a general, um, general introduction to the project. And then I'll be talking a little bit about the data sets, which actually are gonna be useful for later too in general, okay? So this will be a single line graph. Uh, double line. Um, and then this is a connected scatter plot. And it looks like a line, but it's really a scatter plot. So it's a little bit of an odd, odd man out here. Um, in that it's a series of dots connected um, with the line. Okay, and I'll give more details about that. And then um, I will also give you the template where to locate this. So this will be output from your from your programs, uh, save this PDF more or less, or yeah, PDFs, um, as long as you have the full picture and nothing is missing. Um, and then you can just import them into here. I don't like importing PDFs, but I think it will be okay. So this can be imported into Illustrator or uh, InDesign, I guess. Um, and if you get into trouble, you can always save them as pictures for now for this project and put them in there. Um, then, uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six will be, um, uh, let's see, these are the states, I believe. Yeah, so these were the years uh, for the entire population from 2000 and let's see, from 1975 to 2017, if I remember right. And then, um, and then here we have, um, let's see, let me check for a moment. Uh, black rate, white rate. Yeah, these are states. So this is already from the second file. So this is, uh, I believe, I'll, I'll fix it in the handout if, if I make a mistake here. Um, so this would be data set one. And then this would be the data set two. And these are states, each bar. 
So these are bar charts. Um, and uh, let's see, this was all, this was black and white, um, breast cancer. Um, same thing here. Um, this I think is gonna be black rates for different states, and this will be white rates for different states. And I want you to sort the data, okay? So from large to small. Um, and then this one will be a clustered uh, bar chart. And that just means that there's, you know, pairs of bars. And what will happen with this one is that um, you will also sort one of the two, I would say, um, I forget, it doesn't matter. You can sort one or the other, black or white. Um, and then of course, once you sort the first, the second one will be slightly, obviously not as sorted because it will be impossible to sort, um, to sort both of them, okay? Um, then the last one will be the scatter plot. And this will be the white uh, rate. And we're talking about rate per 100,000 female population. So this would be white rate and this would be the black, okay? And this will be the one that actually we did as the last optional exercise in the previous assignment, okay? So you might already have this one just out of the box um, in R, in fact. I think I'm telling you to do this in R. Um, well, you could do it with other problems too. Um, and then eight and nine will be a, um, the same plot, except that here the, uh, the proportions are a little funny. This number is actually pretty high, it's like 35, and somewhere here is maybe 20, 22. Uh, and it's, it's, as it is, the, the tall part, I mean, the vertical part is actually shorter than the, than the uh, horizontal part, which makes the graph kind of um, even looking, okay? But what I want you to do is make this, um, what I call limits, the same for X and Y, um, so that it's a square. And uh, you can do one in, let's see, I wrote it down. All right, you could also do this in R. And you could do this in Tableau, which by now you should have um, installed, okay? Um, and then you, you can draw a line, a diagonal line that shows you that actually the data, the dots are clustered in the upper part, which means they're mostly in the black. So blacks have a higher rate. Um, that's the, sort of the main story here. Um, okay, so let me just say a few things about the data sets as we collected them. And there were a few issues, so I'm gonna see if I can. Um, I don't know if this actually affected anyone, but here in one of the names, um, before it said 50 minus 50 plus uh, for like, you know, younger than 50, uh, women uh, older than 50. But for some reason, whoever, put this together here, um, decided to use that symbol. And I'm afraid that um, you might have tripped something in Google Sheets in one student. I can't be sure, but it's possible. So always look out for like odd stuff like that. Um, in, um, in, in R, you might have noticed that actually, um, let's see, there's a space and then there's, yeah. So this actually in R, that's a space turned into this when you brought it, it put two periods. So it didn't like the space and it didn't like the less than sign, okay? Um, and of course you could, you could have also shortened the names, like they're pretty long, um, but what you definitely needed to do was actually to get rid of the commas um, inside this, um, inside these header names. Those are really no-nos because then you don't get the proper comma separated um, uh, file, right? If you left these commas inside there, since there is a comma at the end of each label, which corresponds to 
basically the stops on all these cells. If you have all of a sudden another comma there, the program is going to expect that there is another column of data. But since you don't, you're going to you're going to get an error. Okay, so no commas in the header names, and it's a little frustrating because of course when you downloaded this, it was a comma separated file, and those commas weren't separating anything good. They were just in the middle of, of the names there. Um, okay, so this was the first uh, the first one again. This was plot one. These were the columns. And for these, um, in R, you generated a simple plot, right? Where you just gave you the, uh, the uh, matrix of all the possibilities. So what this is, I believe it's 10 by 10. Yeah, it's 10 by 10 matrix. So what's doing is it's taking any one, any two of these columns and plotting them on the X and on the Y, okay? And the way that it's doing it, um, it lets you see what each one of these, and we're gonna see it now in a, in a zoom, zoomed version, um, but just real quick, um, this, this now corresponds um, to the graphs that we're gonna do, okay? Or, you know, the ones from, from which you can pick. That is, um, I marked them here. So the first one, which is the single line for all is right here. Okay, it's this one. And it says races, females, all ages. Um, the second one, which is two lines, is actually a combination of this one right here, which is white, female, all ages. You read it this way and you read it this way, okay, from here to there. And we're gonna combine those together. And then the uh, third, which is the scatter plot, the connected scatter plot is this one right here. And that's picking up on the, sorry, yeah. On the X going this way, it's picking up white females all ages here. And on the Y, it's picking up this guy here. And that's going to be um, black um, females all ages, and each dot is a, a year in this case. Okay, so put another way, um, yeah. So to show you again how these are organized, this is actually uh, the first three rows. Let me see. Yeah, the first three. Um, in R, if instead of simply saying it plot, if your name was Brecken, let's say 75, 17, if you include this thing in, in, inside the parentheses, square, square bracket, and then one, two, three, the file name changed here, um, then that's just gonna plot a three by three plot, okay? So that's what I did, I took this, I uh, basically enlarged it, okay? And you see that on the sides, it gives you the data, right? So this is all ages, all races, females, all ages. Um, remember, these are year of death. So these are the years being counted. And you can see them here, 1980, et cetera, 1990. Um, so these are the years. Um, and these are the rates. In this case, this is how you read it. Which, which rates are these? They're not these rate, rates. This would be ages 50, 50 or something, um, because they would miss it. Instead, you go across. And so this label is basically the label for these axes. So if I were to write it, I could write it like that, even though I don't like it vertical. Um, so we might, we might say, it, um, you know, we might put it, um, well, that could be the title, okay, of the graph. And, um, and what these dots are, incidentally, also here too, is uh, data points, but they could be lines, they could also be bars, right? This is actually the tip of each bar. Um, it's a little bit misleading because actually it starts at 20, right? So in a real, so here we have a shape that's like this, right? But if we were to really keep going, we would get 20 more, 
So that's a lot. So that's 10, it would be much longer. It would be like something like this, right? And that's, that's, that's the correct, right? That's the correct thing because this dot right here is not like whatever, you know, 20 times or 30 times bigger than this dot over here. It's only, you know, whatever, it's maybe one fifth or one quarter, okay? So what are dots, it, it always creates a box minimizing whatever it has to, to visualize, right? So it takes the minimum and the maximum of that data, data point and just kind of boxes it in, okay? Anyway, so, um, so that would be the first one. Um, all right, yeah. So that would be the first graph right here, number one. Um, and I want you to do a line, a line graph, okay? What happened to the second? Oh yeah, I don't have the second because it's a combination. I couldn't print this um, as a grid. It's a combination of these two, okay, of these two graphs. Um, another thing I should say is that because in fact R, you know, compresses it to whatever the data is, this kind of looked similar because they are in a sense, but the, the degree to which they're different is not actually shown very well. For example, here, for black female all ages, it goes from 20, maybe five to 40, okay? Whereas here, for white females, it only goes from 20 to 32. You can see it on the other end right here, okay? So visually, they're the same height, right? I mean, visually, if I were to draw these, this one, for example, you know, I do something like that, right? 20 to 32. And then if I put the other one next to it, this one for black, um, you know, it's also kind of at the top, right? And so this would be black, but the scale is, is here is 20 to 40. So it's actually bigger. So this would be to properly construct this, you would keep the same scale for the white and the black. So you would take the maximum, um, of whatever is the maximum. So this would be 40, I guess here. And let's say if you wanted to make this 20, uh, which would then make the black perhaps like this. And, the, and I think if I remember right, the white is like that, okay? So in other words, the white is lower, but here you wouldn't see it. So this is, this is a little tricky, right? When you look at this, um, at this you know, matrix. Okay, so that would have been number two. And then number three is this, uh, is actually one of my favorite graphs. And that is a connected scatter plot um, where, the, um, where the dots in the scatter plot are connected. And so here, what you're gonna have is something that looks like this. I'm gonna make it really rough now. And the odd thing about it is that, um, Let's see, this we, yeah, we still did it from the first graph. So remember it was, it was from here. So I did a grid four by four. Um, so it was, it was this. Okay, and in order to do that again, I, um, I typed, um, I type this five to eight. So just visualize column five, five, six, seven, oh, eight, actually, sorry. Sorry, five to, five to eight, yes. So this is column five to eight, or rather enclosure five to eight, right? Because these are the names we're visualizing. Um, and, um, and and that's what that and that's what this is. Okay. Um, now remember that we we have rates here, and we have year. And what's happening in this particular graph is that um, 
these are the years. So the first year right here is 1975. And this year it's 2000 and what is it? 2015? No, 2017. Right. Okay. So the funny thing that happens is that the years appear to go in backwards. Okay. But that's not, that's okay. What's happening is that in these years, for example, 1975 until I believe 1990, um, the rate for blacks kept going up, right? This is black because remember you pick this up right here and you bring it over and that becomes the label, right? And then you bring down this label and that becomes this label on the X. So this is why it's going this way, okay? So what's happening here is that the, uh, uh, these are each year, each year how bad it was for one or the other or how good it was, well, it's all bad, there's no good. Um, but you can see that by this going up, it just means that in all these years, more or less, the rate for blacks kept going up, whereas the rate for whites stayed steady, still pretty high, um, but steady. And then interestingly, after the 90s, both of them dropped, kept dropping, right? Because they went towards the minimal area here, towards the 20s. Um, anyway, it's a nice, super nice graph because you can build a story by writing little elements, you know, at particular years, for example. Okay, so that's number three, uh, which should be, which should be these three, right? One, two, and three. Um, let's see. Yeah, so those were from data set one. Okay, which is, let's just call it the years. Okay, whereas data set two, it was only for, um, what was it, 2017, I think. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at this other data set, which is now the correct one. This was number two. Um, and, um, and it's a little simpler because it's got fewer columns, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You combine two of the columns from two different data sets. You made sure that they didn't get all scrambled. Um, and, uh, and right now here, they're not sorted, but that's okay. Uh, note, note that District of Columbia is always a little bit of, a, of an outlier, as they say, but it's an outlier because it's not really a state, it's a city. and so. Usually, in this particular case, for example, um, the rate for um, for white is very, very low. It's like off the charts in terms of being low. So, you know, you know, this is what's called an outlier. So, in, in the graph that we'll see later, this is where um, this is where DC is going to be. Uh, for these assignments, don't don't worry. There is a way to hide it in R and other programs. Uh, for the third part of the project, we're actually going to get rid of it completely, so we focus on the rest of the states. Okay, uh, just to be clear, um, the rate again is per 100,000, okay, female population, uh, and it's age adjusted because, um, well, there's a a formula that you have to do to get pro the right proportions so that it doesn't look like uh, you know lots of kids are dying from breast cancer or something like that um, so that's the white rate for for these states 34 states um, and that's the black the white count is the actual number of people that died in that particular state in that particular year uh, white black count and then white population black population is Again, I believe this is the actual census data for those two groups, okay? So I would say we just don't need to use this for now. Just, you know, kind of forget about this, these four columns. We're gonna use white, black, and state. Um, I mean, rate, white, black, and state. And, um, and this will be actually fairly simple. Uh, let's see, this will be three, I'm um, sorry, four, five, and six. 
and let me see if I can find them now in our data site. I also did a zooming in of this uh, four, five, and six. Yes. Okay. So four, five, and six. So the first one, which is this one, again, it's the white rate. Again, you take this label, you bring it over, basically you go across and that's where you put the label, right? So this is the white rate for all the different states. Number five is this one because it's the black rate, right? You bring it over and remember, it's like, it's like a crossword puzzle or um, bottle ship, right? Okay, so here I'm telling it, well, I would have to say, you know, one five for this or one six for that or two five for this. Um, but that's how you read it, okay? You, you bring these labels this way until you define what that graph is. So this graph is showing the states on the X and it's showing the black rate on the Y because I'm going this way, right? And um, so this is for the black and this is for the white. So that's number four. This is number five. Now notice one thing. I actually did a spot check and I, um, let's see if I can zoom in maybe. Yeah, let's just zoom in because it's gonna be a little more clear. Okay, so again, this is a three by three detail of this, okay? Which I would have done by adding one column to two, three until, oops, sorry, inside the parentheses of the simpler, the simpler um, line of code, okay? Um, and it's always kind of good to do a little bit of a spot check once in a while. So again, four, five, and then, so four, five, and then six is gonna be the combination of four and six, of four and five, sorry. Um, I was telling you about doing a spot check, just to be sure, you know, because sometimes like, I wonder if these dots really are, well, I think they are. And how would you know, right? They're just a bunch of dots, um, but you can do this. You can say, hmm, uh, this guy right here is the lowest, right? So for the white rate, again, we looked at, and I looked and I, I scanned the spreadsheet and I say, oh, okay, 13.3. Oh yeah, it looks right because that's 14, right? That's 14, so this must be lower. So that's probably DC right there. And then you can keep going and you can say, oh, I wonder what the first one, the first dot is. And by the way, because they're actually up and down like this, I kind of know that they are in alphabetical order and that's bad. <laughs> alphabetical order is bad. Um, so what I did was I looked up what are the first dates here. And the first date was um, Alabama and then Arizona. Arizona and Alabama. And Alabama, which one is first? Alabama is 20.4 and Arizona is 17.8 for white. So I look at the white and it corresponds. You see Alabama is right here and I can see it's right there. So this is Alabama. And then the second one, remember what I said earlier that these are actually like bars. I mean, they could be, could be a line too, but for states, by the way, or solid things, discrete things, it's always better to do um, to do bars, not lines. It wouldn't make sense to have a line here connecting because there is no, no, um, no relationship of going from one state to the other, except that it is alphabetical, okay? So, okay, so that's Arizona, this dot, this other dot we said was basically, sorry, Alabama, and then this is Arizona. So this is 17.8 and I can see it's near 18. So that's probably Arizona right there, okay? So I've learned that these are basically, for my purposes, they're basically bars, right? Going in alphabetical order. And if you want for fun, what you could do is this. Okay, this is the black rate going here, this is black. And notice that these numbers are much higher. See, this is 35 from here. 
and this is 15. So even though these look the same, this is worse, right? Um, and let's see, what would you, yeah, it's, it's a little bit tricky to kind of visualize it this way. So anyway, what we need to do is we need to sort this data, okay, from high to low, always, always. Well, not always, but in the case of alphabetical stuff, you generally want to do that. Um, so alphabetical, alphabetical. And then the last one, yes, is gonna be a combination of these two, okay? And that just means that we will we'll create, again, a cluster bar chart where you're gonna have, you know, whatever the highest date is, and then the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. However, keep in mind that once you sort one, let's say black, uh, the white is not going to be sorted perfectly. That would be really weird if it was if every state had exactly the same proportion, right? Um, in other words, if every state it was always, um, yeah, by the same amount. So anyway, this this second sorting won't be as neat. Okay, so that's number six. So now we get to number the last one, which is number seven, eight, and nine, and uh, in this case, this is how you read it again. You go down. So this is white rate gets moved over here and becomes the label, right? White rate for that. And then this become, goes over here and becomes the black rate. Okay. And um, yeah, and now we could figure out which state is which, except we know that this is DC, right? because it's such an outlier. And also because this is actually, if you, if you had a chance to uh, do the plot, this was the one that I gave you the code for um, at the very, very end of the exercise. It wasn't required, but I had a picture of it um, in R, which has the, um, again, black, right, white. For now, don't worry, of course, about these really weird looking uh, labels. Um, and then, yeah, these are the states, right? And also the names you see are smacked on top. And that's okay. Um, and um, yeah, so that's the sort of right out of the box kind of thing. And then I'll give you a little more, a um, couple of lines of code to make this into a square, which will have, unfortunately, the effect of of bringing these all together, closer together, so there'll be less room for names, et cetera. But um, as I said, it will have this advantage. It will show that by making everything, what did we say? Yeah, 35, 15, uh, and actually this is, so 14 maybe. By making everything, let's just call this 14, maybe 35. Um, it will be shown, this will be a 45 degree line. And so this, this is equal one to one. So if all your states were on this line, they would all have the same proportion of black and white, okay? Um, but in fact, what will happen is when you do it this way, you will see that most of the states will be in this half and only a few will be down below that line, okay? So I think that's it. Um, so I will now put together, um, I'll put together the, the handout that will tell you where to go to find um, examples. Okay, the videos are not exactly with this particular data set. They might be slightly similar, slightly different, um, but the process is the same, um, okay? So once again, you'll be required to at least produce one and that's okay if you leave it empty, I don't care. Um, I'll give you the template for this, but you're, you're welcome to do them all, right? You're welcome to do nine and you have to do at least one of each in R, in Excel, in Tableau. Um, so I think um, that's it. I'm trying to see if I missed anything. Um, 
Yeah, all these videos are already all on YouTube, but because they are a little long, the existing ones, yeah, you, you I'll give you the uh, the time timestamps. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys, and I'll uh, talk to you later.